Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. Xiao has been one of the most anticipated new characters since the closed beta, and he is finally here. I wanted to quickly go over some must know tips and tricks for our favorite emo boy who never grew out of that phase. Tip number one, Xiao's elemental skill. Surprisingly, if you didn't know, Xiao's highest DPS is actually through spamming his elemental skill. But he can only do that once, twice, or thrice every 10, 20, and 30 seconds respectively, depending on how many charges you have and whether or not you have Constellation 1. However, knowing that this is his highest DPS option will be useful in many scenarios when you need to squeeze a little bit of extra damage out. Since Xiao's elemental skill doesn't create any Animo particles during his burst, you can use both charges of his elemental skill on an enemy right before using his burst. This way, once the burst animation is done casting, you'll be able to collect some energy. This is an effective way to help him mitigate some of his energy cost needs. Also, during his burst, you can save up your elemental skills and use them after his burst ends for more energy regeneration. Because Xiao's elemental skills damage doesn't actually get buffed by his burst, there's little benefit, assuming you don't have Constellation 6 Xiao, for using his skill during his burst. Tip number two, Animo teammate for Xiao. Since Xiao needs his burst to do a lot of damage, it's highly recommended to run an Animo teammate with Xiao, both to support him and also to generate energy for him. Traveler, Sucrose, Jean, and Venti are all great options for this role. They also provide the Animo party resonance, which is a nice bonus for Xiao. So when you need energy for Xiao, simply use your Animo battery skill and then switch Xiao in to collect the Animo particles. The reason why you want to switch Xiao in is because the character on the field will gain much more energy than the characters that are not on the field. You can keep repeating this process and using Xiao's elemental skill until Xiao has his burst back up. Similar to the previous section's advice of using Xiao's elemental skill before using his burst, you can also use an animo battery skill, then swap to Xiao and use his burst immediately. Depending on a few factors, this will often allow Xiao to collect a bit of energy that he may not have been able to otherwise. Tip number three, HP management. Since Xiao loses HP during his burst, for most things in this game, it might be a good idea to keep some delicious madams on your hotkey so you can heal him without switching out to a healer during his burst. Since Xiao loses his mask form when he switches, he really don't want to be forced to switch out because you took too much damage. As such, eating some chicken mid-battle can help mitigate that. Speaking of healing, you can also use Barbara's elemental skill or Chi Chi's elemental skill and then use Xiao's burst. This will provide healing for Xiao throughout the duration of his burst. An added benefit with Barbara is that she can also have the Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers equipped to buff Xiao's attack by 48%. Jean's burst, Xing Chu's sword thingies, and Bennett's burst are also reasonable options for this purpose as well. Tip number four, shields. Since Xiao can be easily interrupted from plunging in midair, and he doesn't like taking a lot of damage, which could potentially force him to switch out, shields can help with both of these problems. Shields usually prevent you from flinching and thus getting knocked out of the air when doing a plunge attack. And conveniently, Xiao's banner comes with three shield characters. And there are a couple other characters like Zhongli and Noel to consider for this role. Tip number five, standard rotations with Xiao. So knowing all of the above, a common rotation to use with Xiao when his burst is ready is to first use your shielder or healer's skill. Switch to Xiao, use both his skill charges to create some animo particles, and then use his burst. This way, you'll collect some energy, have healing or a shield to support him, and now you can go wild spamming his plunge attacks. Tip number six, damage amplification. Unfortunately, being Animo, Xiao cannot amplify his damage in a meaningful way through elemental reactions. So how can his teammates amplify his damage? First, there are the party resonances. Two party or two geo both help by adding 25% attack and 15% damage bonus respectively. Next, there's Animo Shred. Traveler's burst at Constellation 6 Jean's burst at Constellation 4, Venti's Constellations 2 and 6, and Zhongli's shield all lower animo resistance, 
So if you have any of these options, consider using them prior to using Xiao's burst. Of course, Bennett will also increase Xiao's attack by a lot, so he's a good choice for this as well. Some other things to consider are Xiangling's Guoba's Chili, Geo Traveler's Burst providing extra crit rate, Albedo's Constellation 4, and Ganyu's Constellation 4. I'm sure there are many more options as well, but let's move on. Although they don't directly amplify Xiao's numbers, off-field DPS characters have great synergy with Xiao because Xiao wants to stay on the field during his burst. Characters like Constellation 6 Fischl, Albedo, and even Zhongli's pillars now that they're buffed, can all provide a nice boost in Xiao's team's DPS. So there you go, 6 quick tips for squeezing the most emo out of our shiny new character, Xiao. Did you find any of these tips useful? Are there some tips that you'd like to add onto this? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, I appreciate every single one of you guys. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.